How many of you have heard of Vipassana? Quite a few. So I would strongly uh, uh, just take one moment and strongly. Uh, how many of you have done Vipassana meditation? One. Uh, I hope you have liked it. Yes. How about you, sir? So you can recommend to others also. It's uh, again one of the oldest techniques of the Indian I would say meditation technique. There's nothing to do with Buddhism or religion. It is a meditation technique and I would strongly urge and recommend it. All of you please try on Vipassana at least once. It's a 10 day course, 11 and a half days specific. Uh, specific. First time, then you can go for one day today and uh, take benefit. It's completely free of charge. The staying, food, etc. You can donate anything at the end of the uh, shibit. Nobody will look at you for donations and also there will be a small table at the side. So please uh, try that out. I have not seen something so scientific, something so you know, easy to do. I mean, I say it's tough in the sense, uh, the first time you'll find it slightly tough. And which, if we follow as a path, uh, it can liberate us from this life and death cycle. So that's my you know, uh, request to all of you. So those who are aware of it, are not aware, please do that. Those who are not aware, have a look at it, the website is dhamma.org, d-h-a-m-m-a.org. With this, I would and look forward now to listening to Suresh on the uh, topic of my life, my choice, choices, which is exploring multiple dimensions of the human thought rooted in our ancient Indian wisdom. Suresh, uh, it's a pleasure to be here. Thank you.